Hello, I'm Wei Zhang. Today I will talk about the dark grid structures in the world. Before we talk about the The structure normally will have a different combination uh, of the structure. For example, they will combine the wall, core, and the tube and the frame together, and in order to take the uh, lateral window. And once the size is become greater and greater, the size of the element will be become very larger. That's why you can see nowadays, and um, the designers, the, the architects, try to think about different forms and they will not only thinking about the how tall it is and they will think about what is the uh, different forms and sometimes they will use the chisting form and sometimes they take out the quip and you can see there's different combination and if you think about just tall is a very special item this is not the same story sometimes you need to think about actually try to use the dark grid to let to let your building become much more uh, attractive and you can see some of the form nowadays they keep on changing and but once dark grid is using or sometimes they cause the bracing and they will help the structure much more efficiently and let's see some of the evolution of the uh, infinity columns for example if you understand this is one of the tube in tube structures but you can see the windows is too small and then they go further and use the columns but nowadays they want to make it special and much more uh, stronger for resisting the lateral load and then they will keep on uh, providing bracings and it's from the dark grid and as usual like the typical tall buildings we need to take care of the that low life load mean low and seismic load nowadays if your building is so ionic sometimes they need to think about the uh, disproportional collapse low and exposure low uh, after the 911 accidents and that's why sometimes the architect will think about what is the typical head warm and a different form sometimes the height of the building and the form of the building also restricted by the list of the paintings and sometimes you also need to pay attention of the so-called what is the new material for example if you want to reduce the column you can use the high string concrete something like this and this is one of the example how to reduce the loadings that's why you can see the typing 101 building they, the footprint on the ground floor they will extend further to add to increase the so-called uh, uh, distance between two columns and they can let the column slow reduce and due to the window on the top of the building is larger they, how can we reduce the loading just a very simple smooth is uh, try to reduce the size of the, of the top and try to let attract less loading as possible and sometimes you can see sometimes they have a, a chamber near the corner to reduce the window and this is a show you some of the example of the uh, dark grid structure uh, nowadays they build it in the world you can see these are very special sometimes they keep on changing the, uh, the form and the structures and you need to understand sometimes the material is made by steel and concrete sometimes they combine steel and concrete called composite and sometimes they do the timber and but I personally don't think concrete is a much uh, better solution because you can see the steel work is much more slim and much more elegant and to be an engineer or the architect sometimes you need to think about and uh, nowadays they have a different form produced that's why we need to make sure the connection should be constability and their uh, connection of the loop is also in three dimension and 
sometimes they keep on changing the uh, downgrade system sometimes they will use the concealed one that's mean cover the body curtain more sometimes they are uh, like the uh, exoskeleton they expose them this is a certain uh, typical form of the dark structures and actually what I'm saying before is a uh, dark system is how to uh, reduce the loading of the columns for example if you uh, see difficult typical buildings they have a vertical columns but once you provide the dark grid I think you need to take out the vertical column otherwise they will be duplicate actually dark grid is one form of the uh, column system if you provide the dark grid try to take out the vertical columns if you combine together I personally think may not be a good uh, option and this is a so-called uh, uh, low path system actually lies the typical uh, tall building or gravity low will go down and they share together and go to the bottoms and then during the window they will have a up and down that means sometimes in uh, compression and sometimes in tension they will uh, transform the loadings and this is a so-called uh, uh, typical system of the uh, dark grid system and Nowadays, the architect will think uh, or provide the co uh, openings. That's why the low pumps will be changed. That means you may need to have a strengthened uh, member or thicker uh, members in order to transfer the loadings. Okay, this is uh, uh, some uh, structural mechanisms of how to resolve the loading. When vertical load go down, they will share by two grid and just resolve the component. Uh, you can easily find the results if this is a uh, resolve by the moment they have an up and down between two grid and they also share together and the lateral load they will also go up and down like this and some uh, engineers do the uh, calculation they think the 35 degrees will be the best and the optimum uh, design but you can think about this is a two typical geometry uh, currently uh, used in the world for example the degree is a uh, 60 feet already you can see this is uh, already the dark grid will go through three uh, stories and if the angle is much more sharp and then they will go to the uh, four stories but if you think about I change to the 35 or 35 degrees it will be too uh, close and may not be the, uh, the best option for the architects and just compare three different forms for you uh, you can see if the uh, degrees is much more larger you can see at least a uh, six story will be uh, go through between the dark grid you can see this is a so-called typical uh, layout and I do one of the example is uh, for example if you uh, try to use the outrigger they will uh, uh, mobilize the parameter columns but if you use the dark grid the uh, moment or the loading taken by the external columns is much more larger that's mean you can say uh, if I try to use the dark with the efficiency is increased and that's why some of the tallest building in the world nowadays they will use the bracing or sometimes it's be close together they say it's a dark grid. it's a very good solution for engineer last days and this is a show you some of the typical connection this is a so-called uh, the gap joint there's two member there gap between and we need to make all the loading to be as one center point we call concentric and another building is called overlapping and sometimes the the, the fans may not be strong enough you add another pace on the top you can see dark grid system sometimes if we use the welding they will join to a one single point the final point may not be very good if you have a uh, if this is on the ice level that's why uh, sometimes you can see the uh, buildings they prefer to use the bow and system and sometimes if the engineer need to pay attention if they are not pointing to the center lines of the beam they will have a char loading we call essential loadings and this is so you some of the example uh, for the dark grid system connected to the steel beam or the steel four this is a uh, we don't prefer welding and then we use the bow and nut system and then this is a so-called horizontal member for the structures 
sometimes the student don't know um, how to connect the between the dark grid if this is a concrete floor there's a, one of the option typical uh, use it in Hong Kong they just use the uh, cupola to weld it directly to the uh, steel pay after that you can just uh, uh, connect the con uh, cupola and the steel enforcement we can do the uh, concrete floor this is one of the options you can do it uh, for the connection between the steel member and the concrete another example is a very well known uh, building in uh, British and then once if the architect thinks this is the joint they can catch the eye level and easily seen by the so-called end user they may prefer to have a very uh, good connection you can take a look this one just use the one nut connection that is much more uh, tidy and much more beautiful and this is uh, one of the products like this and you can take a look of this one sometimes we provide the uh, aluminum cladding to protect the facade and sometimes we provide double layers to let the uh, air conditioner try to reduce the air conditioner's uh, power and this is one of the example I want to show you you can take a look of the so-called uh, connection they extend it with a steel pay and then just use the bow and nut and it is much more uh, elegant and this here show you actual size of the connection this is a uh, more than 1.5 meter you can take a look of this one actually the size is very huge and this is a so-called uh, CCTV uh, credit more system and what I'm saying before is a so-called two-dimensional uh, uh, curvature. That means when you do this is a so-called uh, vinyl uh, models or so-called metric model, you can model the geometry. They nowadays they will lock in only one curvature. That's why the architect nowadays they want to have a double curvature. That means during the construction, the contractor what they are doing is uh, already do a temporary platform and then after that they put the steel work on the top they can do the double curvature but it should be much more accurate for the so-called uh, construction tolerance otherwise they can find it difficult to connect together and I think in the future uh, dark grid system is a very good option for the engineers or the architects to think about actually when something is repeated that means like the honeycomb, this is a had a corner shape and then once they repeat it and then actually this is form a very stiff uh, uh, structural system and then for example if you connect the shell together one by one this is also one of the options you can think about in the future okay this is uh, what I want to say today thank you